Oh, mercy, Jesus. We ask for mercy. Unjevri kopaso ke prede venekasi. Menekasi, menekosa, menekasi. Oh, berekasiba. Oh, shabanata. And the lebelekasia batabako ke brene veneki. Embrosa. Yes, Lord. Makeyasu. Makeye. Makeye. Oh, making Suparagavas appear. Patiova. Yes, Tolova. Yabela Shiva Nabara Gasente Lebara Bana Gasali Geluga Regi. In Jebanosia. Magasa Shiba. Ejejejejej. Unjo Jen Jabaya Jon Jevena Shibako. Kablene, 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 O Kablene Tevanto, Kablene To Kapa, Agala Sassiv and Balo, Embravo, Embrevesi, Embreveso, Embrasia Vantani, A Gate, A Gate, A Gate, A Gate in Gissi Gate, O Gate, 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 Gongrevosa, A Kablene Vesasi. Enga Professor Siba. Yes, Lord. Shambali. Shambanesi. Palovas. Palovas. Pasiavanka. 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 Shabaneta Veliakosha. Makabandi. Mecca de Belegesasiga. Yabashish. Patiavaka. Mega lega lega la sisi. Egala gala gala te 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 te. Egele si 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 si. Ele de le de si si. Ele be pe 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 pe. O pe pe po pe po. O pe po po pe si o po pa. Papa Ravenna ka si 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 si. Ebele bele 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 be te 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 te. Ajimana kos. NJ, NJ, Adelia Kos. Egele bele 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 you know, it's, it's clear that, you know, it's a season of ascension, you know, and God wants to take men up. Praise the Lord. You know, but there's a responsibility that lies on our part in this season to cause that we would ascend. You know, scripture says in um, Amos chapter 6, it says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. It says, And trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. Praise the Lord. You know, um, like Reverend has taught us before, you know, there is Zion and there is Mount Zion. So Zion, of course, is like the beginning of the holy place. But when you start to ascend, you're supposed to climb up the mountain. And you can't climb any mountain with ease. Praise the Lord. You know, and, you know, looking at scriptures, let's see John chapter 3. You know, where scriptures are talking about earthly things and heavenly things. John chapter 3. Um, John chapter... The book of John, chapter 3. Um, trust God for help this morning to pray. John, chapter 3. Uh, okay. John, chapter 3, verse... Um, verse, verse let's start from verse 11. Okay, so it's very, very I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Praise the Lord. Verse 13 now says, And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, um, the, the gifts that God gave us for ascension, actually, is Christ. 
You know, and that's why it says, no man ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven. So Christ was a step down life from heaven to cause men to ascend. Praise the Lord. Now you see, when we first start hearing the doctrine of Christ, you know, like you see in um, Galatians 2 chapter 20, it says, um, let's see Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I'm going somewhere this morning. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. It's a popular scripture we all know. Galatians 2 20. Talking about faith of the son. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. He says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the son of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, when we all got born again, we all had a life that we were living. In fact, even when we got added to the church, we still have that life intact. Praise the Lord. Now, the first thing that the faith of the son will do at the beginning of learning Christ is to take that life and begin to paint another life to you. Praise the Lord. Now, um, you know, once in this world, this world is characterized by a kind of life. What we will eat, what we will drink, and what we will wear. Praise the Lord. Now, you see those things, except heaven takes it away from us first. We can't really, really hear what is inside Christ. Because what is inside Christ is charity. But as long as you are seeking what you want to eat, what you want to wear, and what you want to be clothed upon, you will find out that you cannot meet up to the standards of charity, which will make you to ascend. Praise the Lord. So you see, Christ will first of all start revealing faith of the Son. How many of us remember when we started hearing faith of the Son? It was like they want to just kill us. You know, that time it felt like we would just die. You know, now we've heard faith of the Son. It, now be, it has become part of us. You know, and we are not even thinking of it the way it used to think before. You know, now we are sweet in our mouth. But when we first started hearing it, I remember it's like we'll just be sleeping under the bridge now because <laughs> this message, you know, is as if everything that you have, if you have Gucci, you have to sell everything, you know, you just have to follow the hard way. That's how faith of the song used to start sounding like. But we realize that that training is what has gotten up, gotten us to this point that we are right now. Now, if we've not, if we did not hear that message, there is no way we can even come to Zion not to talk of ascending. Praise the Lord. Now, if you look at the tabernacle, um, you know, there's the camp, there's outer court, there's holy place, and there's most holy place. I think one of the ministers, I think it was Pastor also, somebody said yesterday that you, it is when you get to the holy place that you start climbing. You know, when they say earthly things, when they say earthly things is Christ. You know, if you look at the tabernacle, part of the tabernacle, Christ is outer court, is also holy place. And they said it is earthly things. But you also realize that Christ also has a partic like he has a portion of heaven. So when you come to the end of Christ, praise the Lord, that is when you come to stand upon Zion. So which means in between earthly things and heavenly things, there is ascension things in between. You know, I remember Reverend said it one time when, when he was around that there's also ascension things. There's, it's not just earthly and heavenly. You don't just finish earthly and you just jump to heavenly. In between earthly and heavenly things, there's ascension things. And that's why when you get, you know, if you look at the tabernacle, if you know how it looks like, outside the outer court, there's no covering. It's just like land. And that's why it's, it's, not, it's not any different from the camp. The only difference is it's now fenced. Praise the Lord. So you realize that the outer court somewhere, you know, it's, ju it's just a higher head because you are still on the land, literally. But you realize when you now enter the holy place, there's a tent showing you that you're now supposed to go up. So when you now get to the beginning of the holy place, you are supposed to start ascending. Praise the Lord. But we know Christ is faith, hope, charity. So that means somewhere in between faith and charity, which is that between hope and charity, that's where ascension things begins. Praise the Lord. So you realize when we now start hearing things of charity, you know, love your brother, do this, you know, when they say go one mile, go two miles, those are the things that will cause a man to ascend. Praise the Lord. You know, so I want us to pray, you know, that because of, it's, it's obvious that there's a lot of charity commandments that everyone wants to bring in this season. And that's because God wants us to ascend. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, so I want us to pray that, you know, like that scripture says, woe to them that are, that, that is in Zion. Because if you're at ease, you will not be able to obey the commandments of charity. You want to remain in your comfort zone. You don't want to go the extra mile. You know that scripture that says, when somebody says, give me your jacket, you will give him your cloak with it. When he says, go one mile, you will go two miles. You know, when they slap you one cheek, you turn the other one. That is not ease at all. Praise the Lord. It is trouble to the flesh. You know, but a man that can find grace to obey that curriculum, you find out that he begins to ascend. Praise the Lord. 
So if we want to ascend in this season, we must be full of charity. Praise the Lord. You know, so I want us to pray, and there's no better place to, you know, to, to be able to live the life of charity than amidst the brethren. You can't live charity outside of, you know, it's easy for you to, to forgive somebody that is ignorant. Somebody that, does not, that is not hearing what you are hearing. He misbehaves, yeah, he doesn't know better. It's easy to let go. But Boguma should do something to you now. You know, you're like, ah, what the things you have been hearing, Apostle Guma, you know, you still did this thing. You will realize it's not easy when it comes to brother. Because you are expecting that this person is hearing what I'm hearing, so you should be able to relate with me in this way. Praise the Lord. You know, so you find out that it becomes difficult when it is with your brother and with your sister. You know, so everyone has to help us because if we don't fulfill that commandment, nobody will ascend. Praise the Lord. And you know, Ephesians chapter 4. You know, let me just paint, put all the thoughts together that is in my mind and we'll pray. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Um, verse, verse verse 7. I'll read from verse 7. It says, But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Verse 8. It says, Wherefore he saith, When he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts of, unto men. So one of the gifts, one of the gifts that we got as a result of Christ ascending is actually the fivefold ministry. He said he gave gifts unto men when he ascended. Praise the Lord. So you realize there's a reason why he gave us fivefold. It's so that we also can ascend. Now look at the next thing he says. He says he gave, he says he that descended, no, he says now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. Verse 11, it says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto a measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Praise the Lord. You see that till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. All these things at the time when a man starts to ascend. Praise the Lord. So you realize, really, really, we can't ascend outside of the fivefold ministry. And that's why we always thank God for our daddy, Reverend Kyle, because before now, no, did we even know there was anything like earthly things, heavenly things, ascension things? You know, Bible was just, Bible was just bland. It was just, don't lie, don't steal, you know, love your neighbor, don't be good. You know, make sure when you are walking on the road, let people pass. You know, we don't, we were not thinking anything doctrine. Praise the Lord. So you realize that fivefold is actually a gift for men to ascend. Praise the Lord. So when they say we should pray for ministers of the gospel, you know, we are praying for our ascension, really. You know, and somewhere, what gives us grace to be able to actually obey is doctrine. Because you are seeing the alignment. It makes sense. You are not just doing something... You know, I see somebody impose something on you. You are seeing the breakdown, how everything matches up, and you are, is, everything is making sense. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, so the prayer is twofold. You know, I want us to pray that, you know, for God's servants, you know, that are ministering these things, that there will be clarity of doctrine. You know, that the Lord would give them grace to paint it well, one. And then secondly, when it has been painted to us, that we would find grace to obey. Because nobody can ascend except you obey that which is being revealed. Praise the Lord. You know, so I want us to pray, you know, for the ministers of God that are in the house here in the UK, you know, and then our daddy, Reverend Kyle, that the Lord, would, the Lord would bless them with utterance, you know, to be able to open up these things clearer. You know, that that which heaven would have us know to ascend, that heaven will open it up to us. And then we also, after we've heard, that we would find grace to walk according to that which we have heard. Can we pray in the mighty name of Jesus? Make a shatia la baka, sasa gabara gavasasia, a jabele gada 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 that authority to break word 
to break words down that the Lord would give to our ministers. You know, that they will be able to paint doctrine to us. That we may be able to see and then to walk. Makila Basta. Oh, Kapata. Oh, Oh, Yes, Lord, mercy. We'll find mercy, Lord Jesus. Your servants will find mercy to excavate treasures from the scriptures. And make it plain before men that we would see our eyes would pop open and then we would find grace to walk in obedience to your revelations in this season. Mercy Lord Jesus. Kasha Belega Sashia Gabata Gabaraga Vesashia Gabata. Mercy Lord Jesus. Palagava Shashabaraga Vasasia Padi. Elegabete. Mercy Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You know, still similar to in the line of what I was saying earlier. You know, Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. It says, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment, praise the Lord. You know, like I was saying, faith of the Son is what gives us this judgment that says, is not life more than the meat? You know, faith of the Son is what will show you that life is, is beyond what is happening here. So, you know, when we started hearing faith of the Son, the, the message really, really there was, there is more. There is more than this present. There is more than this life. You know, God is wise. God knows that he can't take us from where we are, straight to everlasting life. We will not be able to take that jump. So God had to first give us faith of the Son to start shouting. You know when they say, you know when scripture says those that are called, those that are called is, is faith of the Son that calls. Because before we started hearing faith of the Son, we, there was no calling. We were just born again. We were not hearing the calling. It's not when you get born again that you get called. It's when you start hearing faith of the Son that they are calling you. Praise the Lord. You will be seeing there's more. There's more. That's the clarion call in the Spirit. You just begin as you're hearing faith of the Son. There is more than this present. There is more. There's more. And that's where, the, that's where Christ starts from. Yes. Separate you from this world first so that you will not be distracted when they want to start showing you the real things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, Scripture says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink. Now let's tie this Scripture to Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Um, says the grace of God. Yeah. It says, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation. You know, it's interesting. It says the grace of God that bringeth salvation. So that means salvation is not here when you go born again. It says the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. Next verse. Or the next part. It says, teaching us that deny ungodliness and worldly lust. Now, this is the first part. You see this ungodliness and worldly lust is what summarizes that take no thought for your life. It's ungodliness and worldly lust. But really, really, this ungodliness is the end of that taking thought for your life. That's where it ends. You know, it looks very simple. Oh, I just want to eat. I just want to wear clothes. That's all this worldly lust. But the end of that thing, that program, is to take you to the place where you'll be ungodly. It says... Let's continue. It says, deny ungodliness and worldly lust. Come on. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly. So the opposite of ungodliness is a godly life. And that is Christ. It says, in this present world. So heaven, by faith of the Son, wants to first separate us from this present world to the point where we can now begin to see the hope of the gospel. Praise the Lord. Now let's go to the next verse, verse 13. It says, looking for, are you seeing Looking for that blessed hope. So if they don't separate you first, you cannot look for. Because you will be busy looking for what to eat, what to drink, what to put on, you know. Because that is what this present life paints to man as life. Praise the Lord. So faith of the Son would 
remove that program from you and then make you to be able to look for the blessed hope and then the glorious appearing of the great God. Now, this glorious is, this, this thing is very high. You know, in Titus chapter 2, they just added everything together. It's like they summarized the whole program. Faith of the Son, charity, everything. They just put everything together. But if they start to open all these things, between this looking for blessed hope and this glorious appearing, there is plenty of things. Praise the Lord. And that's, that's why we thank God for our, our daddy, Reverend Kai Oyegoke. Because how do you tie scriptures to scripture that you'll be able to see what is in between this place and this place? You know, everything is just in one line. When you're reading the Bible normally, everything is in one line. But scattered all over scriptures are nuggets that heaven has placed. It's like treasure that you cannot find it except heaven gives you a gift. Praise the Lord. Now, are you seeing the reason why they gave fivefold? Because except we are giving fivefold, we cannot come to the point where we can see the divisions of scriptures. Praise the Lord. You know, so when, when you are waking up this, you know, every morning now that you have understanding, you should be grateful to God for fivefold. Because except of we are fivefold, we cannot see the divisions of scriptures. You know, when they say rightly dividing the word of truth, you don't understand how that thing is, is difficult. It's not easy to divide the word of truth. I, I remember back then when I was in primary school, we used to we read Bible as in, all my Bible was full of red, red, just underlining everything. We're underlining, we did not know, we were just, we were just on, you know, you want to be underlining? I looked at daddy's Bible, there's no, there's barely anything that is underlined. Well, there's not even written. And you know, but that time my Bible, if you see it, you'll be like, this boy is written. I do not know Jack. You know, so God had to raise men that can open scriptures, as in, open, or divide waters from waters. Because except that is given, we'll be blind. Praise the Lord. Is there still anything? Let me see verse 14. He says, Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify us? Unto himself, a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Praise the Lord. So basically, what I'm saying is, this program is a well-defined program. It's not haphazard. And except God gives us teachers that can show us the divisions, you know, we will just be going from pillar to post, back to, you know, where we were, not even making any progress. Praise the Lord. So faith of the Son would separate us from this present life so that we can now start looking for that blessed hope. Now, let's go back to Matthew chapter 6 that we're reading. Matthew chapter 6. He says, Nor yet for your body what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. I can at least categorically say to a large extent that God has helped us that we've now seen that life is more than meat and life is more than raiment. Even though sometimes we still, you know, find ourselves, you know, going in that direction. But we know somewhere because we've been, op- our eyes have been opened to see that life is more than remains. Praise the Lord. You know, so after, the next thing is, God will now start opening up the realm of charity because now they've separated you from this present world so that you can now start seeing the next allocation. Praise the Lord. You know, so I want us to pray again, you know, for God's servants. You know, it looks like I'm preaching, but I want us to pray for God's servants that God has raised in the house. You know, that the Lord will deck them even more. You know, there are still so many things in these scriptures that we don't know. We think we even still know now. It says, when you think you know, just know that you do not know as you ought to. Praise the Lord. You know, so I want us to pray for God's servants, every one of us that, that every one of them that the Lord has raised in this house. You know, from our daddy, daddy Lami Konra, Pastor Ozo, Pastor Parks, Pastor Godry. Um, Pastor K, Pastor Kunle, Pastor Azuka, Pastor Hans, every one of them, that the Lord would raise them higher. You know, that the Lord would give them more substance, you know, so that we can ascend in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we pray for them? Oh, Mr. Bele Bele Begele Gele 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 Oh, Shebene Kete 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 Yea Mashanda Lea Costa Caprete Gavene Gassasi Ele Gede Bede 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 Father, we ask that you would increase them. You would increase your servants, even that you've blessed us with in this house. That their mouth will be full of words. That they will rightly divide scriptures from scriptures. That we as a people may be able to come up. 
Father, we pray that your graces would increase. Even for our daddy, Reverend Kayode Oyegoke, that even in this season, that which you're trying to paint to us as a people, Lord, you would open it up clearer to him in the mighty name of Jesus. That you would deck him with substances of glory. You know that we as a people can come up to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Finally, I want us to pray for today's service that that which we are lacking, the Lord will supply in today's service. You know, in our different level, in our work with God, there are things we are lacking at different levels. That in today's service, both the high and the lows will be provided in the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord will touch down to our needs in today's meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we pray in Jesus' name? Makashabala bagada gada 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 Megadegio Susupala Gashabara Gavekatia Kotava Menjela Jela Jela Kaposta Caprativa Mesha Shed a better 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 there will be great wine of the spirit abundance of revelations understanding clarity lord jesus even that which we're lacking we would supply in this season can we begin to give thanks to god for to that, for answers to prayers that the lord will do that which he has proposed in his heart to do in today's service can we give thanks to god in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord jesus father we are grateful we give you praise honor adoration all glory to your name that even after today's service, Lord, you will take all the glory. Your name will be exalted even in today's service, Lord. Men's eyes will be open, veils will be torn. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for answered prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Just continue praying in the spirit. Oh, yeah. 
whisper in the spirit is in that song. He's our comforter, he's our love. Let's just worship the Lord. God of creation, He read the stars before the beginning of time. With no point of reverence, you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of life. God of creation, there are the stars before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonders of Oh 
point of reference You spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of love For as you speak A hundred million galaxies will go Sing to your Father, sing to your Father Oh
more time, one more time, one more time. Let's go. Christ, hello, come on, sing. Hello, Worship him is in the house. Let's just appreciate him. Christ alone, he is our cornerstone. Everybody knows somebody worship him this morning. Somebody probably ask the Father, Father Osh, the Panama Catala Osh, the Upper Pem Prato for Paranosh, the Valley Acapara Can to Veriana Manata, Man to Veredesh Paranaga Paragosha. Oh, Christ alone. sacrifice this morning. Thank you. You are Lord of Lords and King of Kings. We bless you this morning. Lord, be your name in Jesus' mighty name we have worship. You may be seated. Let's appreciate the choir today. Awesome. Let's just wash Father Sabana. Thank you. You can do better. Let's appreciate him. It's not easy to usher us into his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I welcome everyone today, this morning. This is the last Sunday. From sleep. You know, some of us, we didn't even have the sleep. You know. Uh, so, well, I can't wait for the service to close, so I'll go and sleep. Amen. Yeah, by the time we got home, it was very late. 
But yesterday was so awesome. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So without wasting time, um, um, we have a man of God. You know, um, he's, a, he's a seasoned man of God, you know, teacher of the word of righteousness. Um, he's a man, you know, that God loves so much and he loves God also. Um, he's a man that he has actually threw all into this thing. You know, he's a man that God has given grace to divide the world of truth, you know, line upon line, precept upon precept, a little here, a little there. Amen. Amen. This man, I love him so much, you know. What attracted me to him is his simplicity, you know. Um, without wasting time, because I said we're not going to waste time today, because I want to go and sleep. <laughs> and <I> said, but, <laughs> now it's good to be honest, you know. Uh, so we're not wasting time today. So with Jesus' joy, put your hands together as we bring our man of God, our pastor, Pastor K. Avalobi. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, good morning, everyone. Hallelujah. Pastor said he wants to go and sleep. It means that he has not slept all night. He's been praying for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord will continue to strengthen you, sir. Amen. Amen. Continue to take you from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we happy to be in church? Yes, Are we happy to be in church? Um, I used to like Pastor Uzo to do the greetings because he does it better. So he whispered to me that he's not going to do that. He wants me to do the greeting. So please don't be disappointed. Uh, I'm still learning how to greet. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, please welcome your neighbor. Say welcome to church. Welcome. Welcome to church. Welcome to where God is making us. Amen. 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 Uh, God is making us. Amen. Uh, we are here to be made. Amen. This is not just a social club or something permanently in the calendar that on Sundays we must gather. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God has designed the church, the house of God, as the ground and the pillar of truth. Amen. Uh, that's where truth will emanate from. Uh, God has chosen the church. You know, and, and that's one of the foolishness of the gospel, amen? amen. That God will use his people uh, gathered together to bring to pass his purposes. That's God's mind, amen? amen. Uh, so we're happy to be part of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen? The body of Christ. You know, the church is the, is the body of Christ. It's the representation of Christ on earth, amen? amen. Uh, no matter what you may see in the church, no matter... You know, you see all kinds of things in the church, amen? Uh, but uh, the church uh, is the ground and the pillar of truth, amen? Amen. 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 Uh, and as we come together, as we gather, and, and if God has shown you mercy to be part of a local assembly that is actually pressing into the intent of God, uh, you should even be more grateful, amen? Uh, we should be more grateful. So, 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 th so that's what the church is. The church is that place where... God intends that his purposes will come to pass. Amen? Uh, it's not just a Sunday thing. That's the thing, you know. The, the church is not just... Uh, so DPM is a community of people who God have raised to journey together to the throne. Amen? So church is not just where we go to. Uh, we have a church. Amen? But most importantly, what takes place uh, is actually what tells if we have a church. Amen? Uh, and I appreciate the Lord for what God is doing here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Uh, I want to first appreciate the set now over this house, Pastor Uzo. Um, okay, let's appreciate Pastor Uzo. Uh, and let's appreciate Pastor Sylvia. Amen. <coughs> let's appreciate them. You are now appreciating them. Uh, Amen. Yeah, let's appreciate them. Uh, not many people appreciate men of God. Amen. Uh, and especially men of God that look over an assembly, amen. Uh, the, the, you know, when they appear before God, God will ask, not just about what they've done in their body, 
God will ask about every soul, uh, which is why you know in Hebrews 13 it says to 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 submit to them, Amen, uh, so that they don't they don't do this work with struggle, Amen. Uh, so they don't they don't because they will give account to every soul. So I want to appreciate you, sir. I want to appreciate God's grace upon your life. I want to appreciate uh, even the things that God has said concerning you, sir. Uh, I want to appreciate that. Uh, the Lord will continue to strengthen you. Uh, you and Mommy Sylvia, the Lord will continue to bless you. Uh, it will increase the authority over you. It will enlarge your coast. Amen. Uh, it will cause you to even be a blessing even to more people. Amen. Uh, the Lord will cause you to, to raise even generals in this nation in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor Uzo is a, he's a very humble man, uh, uh, but he's all, he has a lot of strength with him. Amen. Because he uh, someone has endured all kinds of contradictions to stay on this path. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's not easy to have a church on this path. Amen. Amen. You know, um, and I can say that because it's different from uh, if you're a pastor on this path, you know, under several pastors. And you just serve, amen. Uh, but there's a different kind of demand if you have to lead an assembly, amen, a local assembly, because uh, it's just it's different from a ministry. Let me say that, amen. Uh, it's different from a ministry, which is why our Father and the Lord, uh, Reverend Kyrie Igoke, uh, he he wants to pour a lot into pastor. He believes so much in churches, amen, because I feel it's because. Church work is very hard, yeah? Church work is very hard because people have all kinds of things that they're going through. Uh, people have all kind of cares, uh, legitimate cares, amen? Uh, legitimate cares that can truncate the purposes of God. Now, those cares come from the enemy, amen? Those cares, they are not from God. Those cares are things that Satan throws at us, amen? So they have to contend for those things, Amen? And still be able to teach us the word of God. Uh, so we appreciate you, sir. Uh, the Lord will cause you for your hand to be steadfast. Amen. You will not be weak in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I appreciate Mommy Sylvia too. Let's appreciate Mommy Sylvia. Hallelujah. Uh, I greet you, Ma. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate our daddy in the house, Dr. Lamikara. Let's appreciate him. Uh, appreciate you, sir. I appreciate God's grace over your life. I appreciate your covering uh, over this work. Uh, God has sent him to be that apostolic covering over this work. Amen. Amen. The work started just from London, but now all of a sudden, it's all over the United Kingdom and spreading to some parts of Europe. Amen. 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 Uh, maybe sometimes, after we have grown a bit, we'll be releasing Doctor to, to be going to different places. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because uh, maybe we'll ask Tavi Lawyer how many cities we have people now in the UK. I think he's compiling a list. Amen. Uh, and I know those people too, uh, uh, they, they long to be here. For some reasons, not everybody can be here. Amen. Uh, but one thing about doctor is wherever you are, maybe you can be in, where is the top most part of, in, uh, of this country? Inverness or where? Maybe if we have somebody there, I'm sure doctor is in touch with them. Amen. Uh, such is the oversight. Uh, and I pray for you, sir. God will continue to strengthen you. Amen. You will go from strength to strength. Amen. Amen. You know, one of the strengths that God promises us, you know, in Isaiah, is actually a literal strength. You know, I think I've shared about that before. That they will wait upon the Lord. He will renew their strength. They will, they will run and not be weary. And they will walk and will not faint. Uh, such is the prayer we pray for you, sir. And mommy, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, Pastor Kole said something yesterday about that, you know, if we look into our future, you know, into our 70s, uh, we see a model, amen? We, we see somebody who, people of his age with are retiring, amen? But he is just starting, amen? He still has territories to conquer, amen? Now, those are people living the scriptures, amen? Amen. You see, God is taking us to that place where, you, you know, some things that we admire in scripture, God wants them to be our life, Amen? Because those things that are written, they are written for what? For our examples. Amen? So when Caleb at 80 was saying, give me new mountains. So when daddy turns 80, we'll be asking for more territories. Amen? Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I appreciate you, sir and mommy. The Lord bless you. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's appreciate Pastor Zuka and Mommy Rina. Let's appreciate them. Amen. Pastor, I, I, I honor you. Uh, I recognize God's grace upon your life, which is very, very, very strong. You know, that Pastor that Shepardi grace, that prophetic grace upon your life. Uh, I appreciate it. It is very, very strong. It is very, very insight. Pastor cuts through all kinds of rubbish to get to the root of the matter. Amen. Amen. So th that is a grace. Amen? Amen? That is a grace. Not everyone carries that grace. Uh, I pray that the Lord will multiply that grace and continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Pastor Rina, I appreciate you too, Ma. The Lord bless you. Thank you for, thank you for loving the saints. Uh, thank you for loving all of us and serving us. Uh, we don't always obey what you say, but thank you for loving us, <laughs> irrespective. Uh, the Lord bless you, sir, in Jesus' mind, in Jesus' name. Uh, let's appreciate Pastor Gordy. Pastor Gordy is in the house. Uh, I can't see Sister Juliet, but I appreciate her too. Uh, God bless you, sir. Uh, the Lord continue to strengthen you. Thank you for standing by Pastor. Uh, it's not easy to stand by Pastor Uzo. Your Pastor Uzo's faith is set like a flint. Amen. Uh, amen. But well, thank you, sir. Thank you for your humility. Uh, the Lord will take you places. Amen. The Lord will take you places. Uh, I think there was a time Daddy was greeting you in Lagos, and he said he's expecting you in Lagos. So I want to remind you in case you have forgotten. <laughs> so in case. So and I think he's giving you several months' notice. So we can't hear that the ticket is expensive. Yeah, because you probably have 10 months or, you know. <laughs> so, Pastor Godi, uh, which pastor have not been to Nigeria here? It's only him. Ah, okay. So, Pastor Godi. Pastor who? Pastor East. Ah. She, then there was a time I asked whether she was going to Nigeria. She said, no, she's not missing Nigeria yet. <laughs> no, maybe we can still give her one year. But Pastor Godi has to go. <laughs> Amen. Uh, God bless you, sir. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, and I greet everyone. I greet all of you. I greet worship team. As I say, thank you. Uh, Sister Ehi, Sister Sylvia, the Zambia mama now. <laughs> Amen. I greet everyone. Amen. Uh, everyone, Pastor Parks, I greet you. I uh, can't see Prophet Zandi yet. I'm sure she's on her way. Thank you, Pastor Parks. Let's appreciate Pastor Parks. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Parks is a dogged follower of this part. Amen. He's, a, he's following it with every fiber of his being. Amen. And that's how we come into the kingdom. Amen. That's how we lay hold. In case you look at him and you're like, ah, is his own too much? No, he's just starting. Amen. Uh, so I appreciate you, Pastor. I appreciate your humility. I appreciate your... Uh, he does so many things. Uh, and then when he also asks to minister, you know, the Lord also helps him. Not all of us have that grace to be able to do so many things uh, uh, at the same time. The Lord continues to strengthen you. The Lord will increase his grace upon your life. The Lord will increase his authority. He will increase his word. He will sharpen even your prophetic insight more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I appreciate my wife. Uh, she's not here t uh, this afternoon. <laughs> Amen. Uh, they have to be at the children's school for some uh, Christmas thing. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome, Sister Liz. I greet you, ma. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I feel God will bless us this afternoon. Amen. I feel God will bless us. Uh, I feel it will move us forward in what he's doing amongst us. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's pray. Father, I thank you for this afternoon. I thank you for the opportunity that you have given me uh, to serve under your servant, Pastor Uzo, this afternoon. I, I, I come under the grace of the house. I come under even the covering of the covering of the set man of this house, I come under your servant, Reverend Kyodeo Yegoke and Reverend Helen, under Pastor Uzo, but Dr. Lamekora, and all of the pastors that you have set over this house. I ask, Father, that you help me to minister according to the grace that you have given to me. 
I ask, Father, that your word will come out with clear conciseness, with power, with wisdom, with authority in the name of Jesus. I ask, Father, that you will speak to me and through me. I ask that I will speak what your son is speaking, what the head of the church is speaking to us at this time. You will help me. I, I, I don't know how to say what I need to say, uh, but I rely on you, Lord. I rely on you that everyone will be blessed. Everyone will take something home. Everyone will take something home. Everyone will take something for the week. Everyone will take something for the year. Everyone will take something for their life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Pan also Pahuke, for an eye, Coseta Boshike Tabahati. Eo, eo, Barosoto, Comahita, that Abashoto. On a secret by a taruma to take a lato shot. Did that toy, sir? Don't talk to my daughter. Speak, 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 son. Speak, son. I want you to speak. With a boldness that only the Spirit provides. Mm -hmm. I want you to speak with a boldness that only the Spirit provides. I want you to speak. Speak, speak, speak words. Speak words of enlightenment. Words that open eyes. Words that open eyes. Words that open ears. Words to cap that which I have already started to do. Words to cap that which I have already started to do. Mm -hmm. Anything left unsaid, I, I put words in your mouth to, to, to speak things left unsaid. I, I put words in your mouth to, for, 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 for a clearance, for a clearance, for a clearance. I, I, I put words in your mouth, words in my mouth, gentle they may seem, but like power of a bulldozer to clear things out, clear things out that should not remain, that should not remain. I do something significant, significant, significant. I move my people forward. Oh. I move them forward Amen. with words, words that I've already placed in your mouth. Speak. Oh. Speak with a boldness that only the Spirit provides. Mm. Amen. 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 I receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's open our Bible to John. I think we're going to read a lot of scriptures. Amen. Uh, so we have to be very alert. Amen. If you need coffee, I was asking, why are you smiling? <laughs> it's good to smile. Amen. Otherwise, Pastor Kunle will say, you're not smiling. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. Uh, John chapter 3. John chapter 3. Uh, I believe everyone here is born again. Amen. Are we all born again? Yes, sir. Are we all born again? Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good to be born again. Tell your neighbor it's good to be born again. Uh, because it's the beginning of our journey. Amen? Uh, I think in this house we've been looking at uh, the kingdom, entering the kingdom of God. Amen? Entering the kingdom of God uh, because there are things that are prepared in the kingdom. Amen? Uh, that's when our life actually really begins. Amen? Uh, as we were ending yesterday meeting, there was a word I heard, and I was telling Pastor Uzo because uh, Dr. Lamekara mentioned that word uh, that there is a new life that we are coming into. Amen. Uh, as the meeting was ending, what I heard very clearly is there is a, it's like there is a life packaged for us that we have not even started to live. And it's a very beautiful life. I think you used that word. You know, that was the word I heard that there is a very, very beautiful life that we are coming into uh, that we have not even begun to live. You know, uh, if you think God is moving you forward and you're making a lot of progress now, there is something that we are coming into as a people. 
There is something where we, we are about to, you know, doctor will use that word, gosha. You know, we are about to eat a particular spot uh, where things will take a different set of meaning for us. Amen? Uh, we're, we're coming into that. Well, we're coming into that. We're coming into that season, which is why this season is very, very important. You know, what is happening around this season, the prophetic words that are coming over us as a people, uh, it's very, very important that we pay attention to them. Amen. 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 Um, I, I, I will share some fundamental thoughts tonight, uh, this afternoon, uh, to help us. Amen. Uh, one, of, one of the emphasis I feel, one of the grace I think in recent weeks and months that God wants me to share on is just around how these things happen. Amen. The, the, the framework what needs to be in place, the kind of mindset, the kind of understanding, amen? Because, you know, when the scripture talks about kingdom, uh, they always, especially when the kingdom was being introduced, uh, they always use the word repentance. Let's say the word repentance. Uh, so before we come to John, let me try and probably spend 10, 15 minutes about on, on that, on repentance, amen? amen? Because, you know, repentance... And it's not just repentance from dead works, you know, because if you read Hebrews chapter 6, it talks about uh, repentance, that those are the, f- the fundamental principles of the doctrines of Christ, the elemental principles, yeah? Therefore, living the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Um, and it listed something of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. Amen? Verse 3, and this will we do, if God permit. Amen? So, uh, we're not laying again the foundation of repentance. That is, when it's time to move on, uh, not laying again, not saying, I'm going to stay here again. Amen? Uh, But he says that uh, these are principles of the doctrine of Christ. These are things that must be settled in us. As a people, amen. Uh, there are things that must be, uh, they must be like a foundation that the things of the Father and things of God will be built upon, amen. Amen, amen. amen. hallelujah. So, uh, but you see, the word repentance actually uh, in the Greek, uh, which the New Testament is written. It, it, it's not the way we define it in, 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 in current English, amen? Uh, it's not just sorrow. It's not just feeling bad about something, amen? Uh, it's a word that comes from two words. Um, after, amen? Uh, I think uh, a word called after, there's something that takes place, and a metamorphosis, amen? You know, we talked about metamorphosis when you look at the butterfly, how it became, yeah, from the... Uh, from the caterpillar, lava, caterpillar, and then becoming part of one. So something like a change. So it's a kind of change of mind. Amen? That's a change of mind. Change of mind. Because uh, if we will approach the kingdom, uh, we must, the issue of repentance must be solid in our heart. Which is why there's no place in the gospel where they mention, when they are about to introduce the gospel, that they don't use the word repentance. Amen? Uh, let's look at Matthew 4. I, I think uh, when Je- after the temptation of Jesus, uh, I think towards the end, maybe verse 12 or so, uh, Matthew 4, amen, Matthew 4. We're going to read a lot of scriptures just so that I can establish some of the foundation. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, I really want to, I feel, I really want to talk about what it really means to be born again um, and how that sets us, you know, on the path for the kingdom. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 4. Yeah. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let's say the kingdom of heaven is at hand. From that time, Jesus began to preach. So after his temptation, began to preach. He said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He said, repent. Repent, 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 for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That is, the kingdom is available. So he was about to start to introduce what the kingdom is about. He was about to start to teach what the kingdom is. Amen? But first of all, they have to what? Repent. 
they have to change their mind. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, Apostle Paul used the word, um, go, he used the word, godly sorrow leads to what? Repentance unto salvation. So we can just, you can almost draw a chart from that. That repentance, um, uh, godly sorrow, repentance, salvation. Amen? Uh, sadly, you know, a lot of us camp around sorrow. Amen? Godly sorrow. Uh, repentance is not, is not feeling bad about something that you have done. Amen? Amen? You could feel bad and not change. Repentance is to turn. Amen? It's to turn. That's another word. It's to turn. It's to change your mind. It's to change how you see things. Amen? Amen? Now, that's one of the things that takes place in church. When we come, we are taught things that takes us in a different direction into which we are going. Now, it's our response to that. Now, sometimes the world will come in such a way where you could feel bad, but the intent of God is not that. That is good. It's good to feel remorseful. It's good to feel bad. You know, and I remember in the ancient times, that's where the Catholic got that, the whole idea of purgatory. You know, purgatory. So if you do something bad, they can just lock you away from somewhere to really feel bad for, your, for what you have done. They can banish you from the church. They can send you to the mountains. They can, you know, they can do all kind of things. They can deprive you of things. Amen? Uh, but it does not always uh, result in salvation because the people who go through that process never really go through repentance. Amen? Amen. So, so, so when Jesus was introducing the, God, the, the kingdom, he says first, repent for the kingdom is a turn. You know, and I want to say to us that uh, it takes humility to repent because you have to accept that I am going in the wrong direction. Yeah, I have to accept that I have wronged my brother or I have wronged my sister. Amen? And it's not just enough to feel bad. Let's say it's not enough to feel bad. Uh, I have to be able to turn. Amen? Uh, amen. Uh, I read one more scripture on that. Uh, I think John also used that word, uh, uh, Matthew chapter 3. Uh, Matthew chapter 3, that's John the Baptist. Um, I'll just read that. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, yeah? for the kingdom of heaven is what is at hand. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Now, that, that's a kind of like a framework for the kingdom. So it means that I cannot approach the kingdom uh, with my mindset, with my thoughts. Amen? You know, yesterday we, 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 we learned that righteousness is not what we define as righteousness. It's not what the world defines as righteousness. It's not what feels good. It's not what looks good. It's what God calls good. Amen? It's what God what? Calls good. That is what? Righteousness. Amen? So also, the issue of the kingdom, which is why there is a lot of confusion uh, in the body, uh, is because people think the kingdom is something else. And when the kingdom was going to be introduced, the first thing they said was to repent. Now, that was what the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they had issues with. Because, Jesus, because they would come to him with all kinds of tricks. Oh, this woman did this. You know, this person do this. Moses said we should, we should issue a certificate of divorce. They said we do this. But Jesus will say, no, I say unto you. Yeah? You know, it has been said this, but I say unto you. Now, that, that, that is defining repentance. That it has changed. Amen? It has what? It has changed. Things have changed. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so I want you to think, you know, I want you to think that uh, what have you heard in the last few years, you know, since you started following this path, you know, that should cause you to change. I mean, what have you heard? Uh, because it's not enough, because we will never really embody this life. We will never really come to the realization of what is being declared, um, except we agree with them by changing. Except what? Agree with them by changing. So you have to almost do like an audit of your life. That what needs to change. Because if you do not come to that consciousness of what needs to change, 
you will ever be learning, but you will not come to the knowledge of the truth. You will not. Yeah? Because that repentance principle is like a gate. Amen? It's like a gate. Hallelujah. So I thought to first establish that. Amen? Uh, because uh, one of the things um, that has also made a lot of doctrines to pervade the body uh, about when we get saved, it's like our spirit, we're seated with Christ in heavenly places, and that, that see, that's all done, is also not understanding that, oh, things have to change. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to John and see this conversation between John, uh, within our Lord Jesus and Nicodemus. Amen. 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 I pray that God will, as his word comes to us, um, in every area that he determines that we repent, that we will do that. Amen. Amen. That we'll be able to make changes. Amen. Amen. We'll be able to make changes. We'll be able to turn. Sometimes it's difficult. And sometimes you have to hear and hear and hear to have the strength to turn. Amen. Amen. Uh, And sometimes, you know, it's in the book of John, he was saying that the Son of God has not come to condemn the world. Amen? So he has not come to bring condemnation to you. Amen? That's not the purpose. The purpose is to move from condemnation to life. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So let's look at this story. Uh, we know this story very well. Amen. Uh, Jesus, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Amen? A ruler of the Jews. So Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews. So he was not an ordinary person. Amen. It was a, you know, when they call Pharisee of the Pharisees. Amen. Uh, it was somebody like that. Uh, it was a rabbi, you know, probably somebody in the class of Gamaliel who taught Apostle Paul, you know, when he was a Pharisee. Amen. The same came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. We know that thou, no one, so they, so that means in their group, they knew Jesus. Amen? So now we can see why Jesus treated them the way he treated them. Amen? Because sometimes if you just read the scriptures, uh, why is Jesus cursing these people? Why is he saying woe unto them? Uh, amen. But they, they knew him. Amen. They knew, they knew him because they could tell certain signs about him, but they decided to stand on the door and, you know, and to prevent others from coming to Jesus. Amen. Uh, so we know that thou art a man come from God, uh, for no man can do these miracles except that doers, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be what? Born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Um, so Jesus immediately was starting to change his mind here. Uh, that yes, he's talking about, we know that you come from God. But Jesus started to like, okay, we need to talk about this God that you're talking about. This kingdom that we're talking about. Except you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Um, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when what he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Um, can he enter into his mother's womb? Because he's now thinking, Okay, I'm an old man. Let's even say it's possible for a child to go back into his mother's womb. As an old man, can I actually go back? Amen? Amen. Now, if we read this on the surface, it feels like a stupid question. Yeah? But like I said, this was a Pharisee of the Pharisee. This was a ruler of the Jews. This was somebody that Jesus knew, understood what he was talking about. Amen? Amen. So in the next verse, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter. The kingdom of God. So here Jesus is answering the question. Jesus is answering the question. If you read it on the surface, it looks like he's not answering the question. But he's answering the question because Nicodemus is saying, how can I, how can a man be born again? So that means that born again actually means something. 
How can a man be born again? Because that means to be born again is related to the kingdom of God in a way. Amen? To be born again is related. Uh, Jesus said, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot what? Enter into the kingdom of God. Now, Jesus is saying that uh, it's not your mother that will give birth to you now. It's not a woman. Yeah? It will have to be two births. Yeah, it will have to be born of water and of the spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, he now went to clarify further that which is born of the flesh, what is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So when your mother gives birth to you, you are flesh. Amen. Amen. So all humans, all, you know, we are all what flesh. Now, so when an animal gives birth to an animal, is an animal. Amen. When a woman gives birth to a person, they are human beings. Amen? Amen? So that which is born of the flesh is what? Is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So if you are born of the spirit, you are what? Spirit. So that means that born again entity essentially has to be spirit. Now, the change in mindset here is that, so to enter the kingdom of God, you have to be what? Spirit. Amen? Because the kingdom is not by observation. The kingdom uh, is made of a different material. Amen? Now, spirit also, we know, yeah, that spirit is not just bodiless. It's not just space, vacuum. Amen? Spirit is tangible, but it's made of a different material. Amen? That materiality, we cannot see it with our physical eyes. Amen? So also, the, the kingdom of God is a... Is a real experience. Amen? Is a what? Is a real experience. The kingdom of God is an experience. It is where we experience the life of God. Amen? That, that's actually when we come into everlasting life. Amen? Amen? So by being born again, that means something has to take place uh, that converts us from flesh to spirit. That is the birth. That is the part that was confusing to Nicodemus. Amen? Uh, so Jesus went to further explain it. He said, Marvel not that I said unto you, ye must be born again. Saying that, you see that word must, basically saying that, oh, this issue of the kingdom, you have to experience another birth. Amen? You have to what? Experience another birth. You see, reading these scriptures again, it feels to me that, are we really born again? Sometimes I think about it. Amen? Uh, because looking at here, Jesus is talking about a birth. Amen? Yes. He's talking about what? A birth. A birth that there's a way the Apostle Peter painted it. Maybe I'll come back here. Let's look at Peter when he talks about uh, being born again. Amen? Uh, he's talking about a birth that will result into a state. Amen? You know, so just like in the natural, when a woman gives birth, that child has not fulfilled its potential. Amen? So that child cannot really inherit and function as a human being. Amen? So at new birth, we cannot really function. Amen? Amen. We cannot what? We cannot really function, but we need to be fed and to grow. Amen? Uh, let's look at this. Uh, 22, 1 Peter. 122. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto what unfailing love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Amen? Now, this is one experience of being born again, for example, because he put a uh, semicolon there. Seeing ye have purified, to basically explain this verse. Amen? Seeing ye have purified your souls. So there is a kind of birth that takes place, even in this realm. Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth, through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently. You see, so a lot of these commandments that come, you know, charity, love of the brethren, all of these things, they are part of what changes us from flesh to spirit. Amen? Now, what makes you spirit is not praying 24 hours a day. What makes you spirit is not going to the mountains or to some cave 
and to go and be fellowshipping with God. You're not even fellowshipping with God anyway because you can't fellowship with God until you have to be admitted into a fellowship. Amen? Let me not, uh, let me not cite, uh, digress. Amen? Hallelujah. So the, the, there are things that take place that convert us from flesh to spirit. One of these is this unfeigned love of the brethren. You know, a pure love of the brethren. A true heart, you know, that you, you, we prefer one another. Amen? Hallelujah. We love one another with a pure heart. What? Fervently. Fervently. Now, when this is taking place, something is happening to us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, remember, repent for the kingdom of heaven is around. So, if you, that word, change it to change your mind. You know, change how you see these things. You know, because sometimes you think about the kingdom as something that... Um, you, you, you forcefully, you see, the, the kind of force is a force of obedience. Amen? It's a force of obedience to doctrine. That, that's the force that takes us into the kingdom. The, you, you, the way we, take, we enter the kingdom of God is not the way we take kingdom on earth. Amen? You know, there, there is a way you take kingdom on earth. There is a way you live. Yeah, there is a way you can live a dishonest life. Amen. There is a way, you know, there are people. There was one book I saw many years ago. Uh, I'm not sure whether I was, on, I was in uni or after. I probably stopped. I have not even come to this water. I stopped it. I won't tell you the title so you won't go look at it. <laughs> I probably stopped at chapter three or four. It was really, in fact, there are two books. And there was one that one of my friends gave me. You see, you know, you know, I don't know if you know Machiavelli and all of those guys. They, they are principles of the world. Amen? They, they, they are things that, if, when you read that book, you will, the people who, 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 who rule this world, who are successful in this world, you know, not being made successful by God, you see, that is their principle. Amen? There, there, has, there, there is a kind of way, you know, there is a kind of way you will talk to me uh, there's a kind of way I have to respond, amen, to put you under, amen, hallelujah. And you see, in different instances, even Jesus will change that. Even Apostle Paul will change that. You know, he will say that in the world, ah, people who are leaders, they lord it over people. But in the kingdom, he that will be what? Be greatest, should be what? Should be the servant. Because the kingdom changes things. So we have to change our mind, how we come into the kingdom, Amen. So, coming here. So, I said, being born again. So, this verse 23 is basically trying to ex- explain verse 22. It's actually it's trying to tell us what takes place when we have that. But you may think, but I'm already born again. Now, we have to go back to Jesus' definition of born again. Amen? Jesus' definition of born again is basically what the whole epistle is, all, is about. Amen? Because Jesus actually says that a born-again person will eventually fully be spirit. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Um, I think I remember you said, um, you know, when we were, and, it, and I'm sure it happened to most of us, when you first get born again, they tell us to first read the gospel, but now we are knowing that the gospel, all those doctrines are doctrines of the Father. Amen? The everlasting life. So we first need to read the epistle. Because the people who wrote the epistle, they were the first people who understood the gospel. Yes. Amen. They were the first people who understood what Jesus taught. And the very first person that understood what Jesus taught was Apostle Paul. Amen. Then later, the apostles of the Lamb. Who, and then they wrote the epistles. Amen. So the epistles really is what gives us understanding of what Jesus was actually saying. Amen. 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 You know the word like to the world out there, they like to ch- quote Jesus a lot. You know. <laughs> to try and buttress their point. Amen? But they don't understand Jesus. Amen. 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 So that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is what? Is spirit. Now that's Jesus' definition of born again. So that means when we get born again, when we experience that new birth, we're just like a baby. Something has to take place so that we can actually enter the kingdom because the kingdom is for spirit. There is no flesh there. The kingdom is for what? It's for spirit. So let's go back to Apostle, uh, Apostle Peter because he will help us. You know, he worked with Jesus. Amen. He will help us to understand the Lord. Amen. He said, being born again, being born again. So being talks about a continuous thing. 
Amen. Amen. Being born again. 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 You know, you don't give birth to your child. You give birth to the baby and just leave the baby like that. You are sitting. You are the son of your father. I've given birth to you. That's it. You know, I don't think any mother here would do that. So why do we think God will do that? Or why do we think that when we come to the law, that that's it? And now we are ready to reign and rule and take over the kingdoms. Amen? Now, that, that's one of the biggest deception of the enemy to ensure that we do not get to the throne. Amen? We do not actually come into what God has for us. Amen? Amen? Amen. That is the biggest lie of the enemy. Amen? It's like those wicked uncles in the village that don't want to make sure you know what your father has. Amen? Amen. It said, being born again, amen, not of what? Of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by what? By the word of God. So, we get born again by the word of God. So, believers, those who have uh, accepted the Lord Jesus into their heart, who have made that confession of faith, will go through a process of birth. Not of corruptible seed. So that word of God is not corruptible. It is what? It is incorruptible. It will deal with corruption, which leave it and abide it forever. Amen. Amen. 24. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. Uh, 25. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached to you. So we see that in the gospel is the word of God. Amen? Now, the word of God is that incorruptible seed that will get us actually fully born again. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I'm not saying that you're not born again. Let me repeat that. You're born again, but you're born just like a mother gives birth to a baby. That baby cannot function. That baby has to become an adult. Amen. 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 You see, the, the apostles understood what the Lord says. Let's look at uh, Romans again. Let's see how Apostle Paul also saw this. Uh, uh, Romans chapter 8. Apostle Paul talks about our adoption. Amen. Which is also a process. Amen. Now, uh, it's good to go to some of these foundations so that we understand amen, the, this kingdom that we are coming into. Amen. amen. This kingdom that has been prepared for us. Hallelujah. I feel that it's going to increase our appetite. Amen? Amen. 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 It's going to increase our appetite. It's going to increase our appetite. Amen? Amen. Amen. One of the things that is important, you know, sometimes somebody gives birth is, 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 is baby food, you know, or the mother's milk. You know, everyone around them is concerned that that baby is feeding. Amen? Uh, are we concerned that we are feeding? Are you concerned? You know, we have to be concerned if we're not feeding. Amen? Amen? Because God has chosen that through the gospel, the word of God will come to you. Amen? And that word will make you spirit to be an entity of the kingdom of God. Amen? Now, in that process, a lot will take place. Now, one of them we looked at, which is that uh, unfaith, loving brethren fervently. Amen? Uh, Romans 8, uh, no, let's go further than that. Uh, yeah, now in the flesh, maybe 16, yeah, thank you, sir. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are, what? The children of God, amen? He put a semicolon there to try and expand that. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together, 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be glory which shall be revealed in us. Um, yeah, I, let me. Is it 12? Let me check my notes here.
Yeah. Uh, let's look 14. Yeah, for as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. 15. Um, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage, what? Again to fear, but what? You have received the spirit of what? Adoption, whereby we cry, Habba, Father. So when we receive the spirit, there's something in us that is crying. Uh, is crying for the Father. Hallelujah. Is crying for what? Is crying for the Father. The spirit of adoption. So Apostle Paul is also saying that um, it, the spirit adoption is crying to come into sonship. That's basically what that spirit is doing. It's crying for sonship. It's coming to come into that place whereby we are fully born of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's go back to what the Lord Jesus was saying again. Amen. Um, thank you, Lord. So, the wind blew it where it listed. So, here he was trying to also buttress that point to Nicodemus. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but what canst not tell whence it cometh and whence it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So it describes them as wind. Amen. Uh, like angels are also described as wind. They are described as spirit. Amen. That you can tell where they come and you can tell where they go. So is everyone born of the Spirit. So everyone born of the Spirit have a certain kind of characteristic. Everyone born of the Spirit. They have a certain kind of of characteristic I, 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 and that is what our life is all about amen. amen that is what our life is all about now at this junction it got too much for uh, Dr. Nicodemus <laughs> amen. amen because he's a, he's a ruler of the Jews doctor of the law amen. amen he said how can these things be uh, because he's now beginning to see that how can I change from flesh to spirit. How can I change? How can these things be? How can I change from flesh? So it's a valid question. Amen? In fact, it's a question that even believers are not asking. You know, the enemy makes us to just glance over scriptures. Now, now we see why what it would take for the Jews to be saved. Because they actually knew a lot. You know, the scripture tells us that to them were committed the fathers, the traditions, you know, the oracles of God. So, so they understand some things, amen? And they, they, they have some advantage in the sense because of the Torah. They understand the ways of God, the heart of God. They, un they understand how God chooses people. But here Jesus was introducing something different. Yeah. Now, Nicodemus, must, Nicodemus actually believes in spirit, amen? He believes, he believes angels are spirit. Remember, remember when Jesus was talking about um, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, the different. The Sadducees don't believe in angels and in spirit, amen? But the Pharisees does. So Nicodemus in his mind is thinking, wait, Jesus is saying, human beings, me, I'm going to be spirit. How is this going to be possible? Now, that is the question that the church should be preoccupied with, Amen? That is the, that are why we must come for meeting. That's why we must be hungry for the word of God. That's why we must be hungry for this incorruptible word. Incorruptible word that is able to save our souls. Amen? Because, you see, what Jesus was talking here is something that is literal. Amen? It is literal. When I say literal, literal in a sense that Man will come to a point where, it's when we talk about man becoming spirit. Now, we're not talking of your spirit man. Amen? We're not talking about what? Your spirit man. You know, because, okay, when we got born again, mommy taught us yesterday, our spirit man gets born again. Yes, yeah? Yes, uh, when, when, when at the new birth, our spirit man is rejuvenated. Amen? And is raised. Amen? Bible says, uh, is, is raised. Amen? That's, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1. Our spirit man is raised. Our spirit man is raised. When we get born again, our spirit man is raised. 
a spirit mind is raised. Now, but the promise of the New Testament is not just for a spirit man. Yes, Amen? Mm-hmm. Apostle Paul says that, I pray God that your whole spirit, your whole soul, and your whole what? Body, be what? Be preserved blameless. Amen? Now, when the Lord Jesus, who was actually the first person to be born again, to, to, to turn that flesh to spirit, he, he, he went fully. Amen? He went what? Fully. He was saved spirit, soul, and body. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Am I going too fast? Let me try and slow down. Amen? <laughs> Amen. Um, so, the, the promise is not to our spirit alone. Being our spirit alone is like giving birth to that baby and just leave it there. That baby will most likely die, except somebody picks them. You know, some people give birth, sadly, they drop the baby in their bin. And somebody picks that baby and raises that baby and nurtures that baby. And that the baby becomes a child, becomes a man and a woman and can function in society. It still needed somebody to pick that baby. Sometimes, when we are born again, and we refuse to come through the process of actually being fully born, becoming spirit. We are like that abandoned baby. And anything, any weather, anything can happen. Anything can happen because weather, rain, car, whatever, anything can happen. Amen? So it is not a, a guarantee. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. In fact, that baby will not come into any inheritance. Now, the kingdom of God is all about inheritance. It's not just about heaven. Amen? Uh, it's not just about heaven. You know, it's about the heavens of God. Amen? Which is different from the present heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll try not to go into that. Amen. Uh, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1, uh, verse 1. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we being blessed? Yes, sir. Uh, verse 1, Ephesians 1. Uh, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ, who, verse 3, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had done, blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Verse 4, according what, as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So here, Apostle Paul is writing to a church. This is a church that have experienced the new birth. The church that have, um, have made it, they, they have journeyed the Lord. Amen? Uh, verse 5, let's look at it. Having predestinated us unto what? Unto adoption of, of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the what? Good pleasure of his will. So you can see that um, you see, you, it's becoming very clear to me that without certain people, the kingdom of God is not going to be accessible to man. Amen? Because without the apostles, amen? Without these apostles, without the second class and the third class apostle, I think Pastor Thompson taught us, right? That against book, uh, he gave gifts to men. Jesus is the first class apostle. Uh, apostle, the apostles of the Lamb, amen, second class, the third class, um, Apostle Paul and all the people who worked with him, and fourth class uh, in, our, in our days, like our Father and the Lord, amen. Now, without these people signposting and opening scriptures, you see that you can have a different mindset, amen? You can actually have a different mindset. So, because these are the first people who first explained what the Lord taught. These are the first people who first explained what the Lord taught. So we have been predestinated unto adoption of children. So even though we're, new, we're, we're, we're born again, we're not children yet. Yeah. According to the good pleasure of his will, verse 6. To the praise of the glory of his praise, wherein he has accepted in the beloved, Seven, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace, wherein he has abandoned towards us in all prudence, in all wisdom and prudence. I want to raise to verse 15. Um, 
Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. So after I saw them, that church got to a point. He began to pray for them. Yeah? He began to pray that they will come into something. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Hallelujah. The eyes of what? Of your understanding being enlightened that you may what? Know the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Now, this is the process of being born again. Amen? This is the process of being born again. Where our eyes are enlightened. Our eyes are what? Enlightened. We are, we, 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 we are schooled. You know, it's like in this world, if you're not schooled, you can't really navigate your way. Amen? And sometimes the level of your schooling or education determines how far you can navigate. Amen? Uh, and I'm not just talking about former education going to school. If you do not have people to raise you, to teach you certain things, amen, yes, you will not be able to function. Amen? Even in this physical world, not to talk of the world of spirits. Amen? So we're joining into a world of spirits. Now, and now they have to turn us to spirits. And they turn us to spirit. They turn us to spirit by the gospel. Amen? Amen? By the experiences in the gospel. By instructions. Amen? In righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let's go back to John chapter 3. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Amen. So here Jesus was trying to introduce to Nicodemus um, the kingdom, how he enters the kingdom. Yes, especially said, uh, uh, clearly said what it means, how, how you will enter the kingdom. Amen. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Except you are born of water and of the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, verse 10. Let's look at verse 10. Um, Jesus answered and said unto him, Are thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto you, We speak that we, that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? So, in the kingdom, we know that there are earthly things, amen? amen. And there are heavenly things. Now, one of the ways in which our Lord Jesus wants to change our mind about the kingdom of God is that uh, the kingdom is not just something that is how there. Amen? Remember when we started, it says repent for the kingdom of God, or the kingdom of heaven is what? It's at hand. It means it is readily available. It means it is here. In fact, I am in the kingdom. I am functioning in the kingdom. You know, later I said to Nicodemus that no one has ascended, you know, but he that descended and is in heaven. So while he was speaking to Nicodemus, he was actually in heaven. Amen? He was, I'm not talking of the heaven that we know, but the heaven of the Father. Amen? It was in a realm. It was in a realm of knowledge. It was in a realm of understanding that was determining how he lived on earth. Amen? So Nicodemus got confused. Firstly, got confused about how are you going to turn flesh to spirit? Amen? Now, and I said to us earlier that that is God's promise that is going to literally come to pass in the people. Amen? And it will come to pass in us. Amen? Amen. We will all become what spirit. Amen? Amen. Now, but that process, he went further to say that there are earthly dimensions of it and there are also heavenly dimensions of it. Hallelujah. There are what? Earthly dimensions of it and there are also heavenly dimensions of it. Earthly dimensions of it. So that means on earth, uh, there are aspects of the kingdom that is available to us. 
So you now see why our living on earth is so, so important. Amen? That you don't postpone to heaven. Amen? So we didn't get born again to die and go to heaven. Amen? We got born again to enter the kingdom. We got born again so that we can become spirits. Amen? So that we can become spirit and live a kind of life on earth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, that we live in such a way that, you know, people are saying all kinds of things are happening. There is war. There is this. Cost of living crisis. All of those. Those, those language, they are not language of the kingdom. Amen. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not things that is in the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I spoke of you, earthly things. So the kingdom of God is at hand. So anyone who wants to enter the kingdom of God, it's available to them. If they will grow. If they will refuse to become children. If they will refuse to become babies. Amen. The kingdom is available. Amen. Amen. You see, and God is advancing us into the kingdom by the instrumentality of his word, amen, by the people who are set over us, amen, by our brothers and our sisters, amen. That's how we are entering in the kingdom. You may not know that you are entering the kingdom, but as you are changing your mind about things, as you are repenting about things, something is being done to you, amen. I mean, you know, one of the tools that the enemy uses is to make us do things on earth that does something to our soul. Let me explain. Um, you see, we are, I think uh, Daddy Oigoke has said, used this word before, that we are, we are beings of love. Amen? And, we, and I think yesterday, was it Pastor Uzo that says that what you love, you will keep. Amen? So we, we are beings of love. And we are actually what we love. Yeah? We are what we love. And what the enemy wants to do is to make us to love a lot of things on this head. And that will keep us flesh. Yeah? To love a certain kind of life, a certain kind of thought, a certain kind of mindset. You know? A certain kind of, this is my right. Amen? You know, the whole concept of repentance means you don't have right. Because he's telling you, change your mind about these things. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 So we are actually what we love. What we love tells what we are. Yeah, what we love. Uh, uh, and what the enemy does is to uh, is to make sure that there are sufficient things on this head that ties us because we don't start to keep them. That's where idolatry comes from. Amen. But God wants to shift our love. Amen. You know, as we begin to love the things of the Spirit, you know, what seems intangible will actually become tangible. Because it's actually a, a tangible life. Amen. You know, this beautiful life we're talking about, it, it's a real life, this everlasting life. It, it, it is real, it is tangible, because you will feel it in your environment. You will feel it in your home. You will feel it in your marriage. You will feel it in your pursuit, in your academic or work career. You, you, you will feel that you are living by a different kind of life. Amen? That's the tangibility. Amen? Now, if you read scriptures, amen, if you read scriptures, do we not feel that the people who who, who experience this kingdom, do we not feel by what is written about them that they have a different kind of life? You can feel it, right? Amen. So don't let the enemy say that. I think somebody before in a church where we say that all these things you're saying is like pie in the sky. You know, it's not pie in the sky. It's not abstract. Amen. If you have not experienced it, Amen. And Jesus is saying here, he started by saying, you have to first understand earthly things. Amen. These things is available here. There are earthly dimensions of it. Amen. And even while living in the days of our flesh, we were even pressing even to the heavenly dimensions of it. Amen. True doctrine. Amen. Because they will, they will import into us thoughts. They will import into us understanding of how life should be. Amen? 
that you, you, you will take decisions and everyone around you will say, ah, you don't know what you're doing. Amen. But you know that it's taking you to life. It's killing flesh. Amen. Every opportunity you have to kill flesh, you kill flesh. Scripture says not to make occasion for the flesh. Amen? Not to make what? Occasion for the flesh. But you see, we have an adversary who wants us to camp around all our cares. That's what he wants to do. You know, he says he's, uh, he's a roaring lion. He walketh about, you mean? Seeking what? Seeking who he will devour. So, how he devours us is not just in wars. It's not just in accident or killing people. That's not how he, how he divorce people is to take them away from inheritance. Is to take, make them to live a certain kind of life. Amen? You see, Satan really designed this world. Not the head. He designed the world. You know, I was reading something about marketing sometimes about how even our, I think I've shared this before, even our our shops are created. You know, the shopping malls, the shopping malls are designed with the cathedral. Amen? Yeah. So they got an idea of shopping mall from the old medieval churches. And we can still see some of those churches here. Um, and the whole idea is that the, everything that takes place in a church takes place in a shopping mall. Amen? Amen? Everything. So... You're welcome. There are different shops that there are different shops that describes to you what life should be. Hey. Amen. Different shops, different grades, department. department. Thank you, sir. You know, and some will say, okay, maybe if you earn twenty thousand pounds, you can shop there. If you earn hundred thousand, you can shop there. If you earn a million, you can shop there. There are all different types of churches that sell different things, and the halter is the till. Amen. Where you, you give offering there too. Amen? <laughs> but one of the things those shopping things do to us is as you walk around, they define to you what life is, what a good life is. And different shops determine. Amen? Yeah. And when you're going after you have paid, they say, have a nice day. That's like they are sharing the grace. <laughs> after you have spent your money. That's a benediction. <laughs> Amen. Center. It's a worship center. Amen. Some people now are shopping till they drop, you know, all over the world. Um, uh, have you heard of window shopping before? I, I, I've done it too. <laughs> now, what does window shopping does to you? It tells you, even if you don't have money, <laughs> you are spending money you have not had. You are thinking... It's preaching, thank you, Pastor. It's preaching, it's telling you what your life could be like in this dress. A better job. If there was a way it would motivate you, amen? <laughs> so that means you, you begin to work harder based on a message that has been preached to you. Yes, it's another gospel. So, so that's how Satan designed this world. That's how this world was framed. Uh, a lot of thoughts went into it, you know, by that cherub, a lot of thought. Uh, so that we love things. And once we love things, we begin to walk towards it. So, so why don't we reverse that? And I'm not saying don't go shopping. I'm sure some people are going shopping after that meeting. <laughs> I'm not saying go shopping. But what God is calling us to is, you know, there is a way you feel when you go shopping. Yeah? yeah? There is a way, there's just a way you feel. Do we feel about that coming to Taka House or to Peckham? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, if your husband just says, oh, let's go to Westfield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, what? I don't know if anyone will say, oh, it's raining. We can't go today. <laughs> we have jacket. <laughs> Amen. Now, that tells us that those activities have done something to us. So also, because all of these things are spiritual, you know, they're spiritual. Even our 
what we call our physical health is, is, a, is a lower form of spirit, amen? Because what runs it, you know, uh, Hebrews chapter 1 tells us that the things that do appear are made by things which do not appear, amen? So through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Uh, and what happens is that the enemy has designed the system so that when you pay attention to this world, when you give your life, people will generally think your life is wasting away. Yeah. Your friends will think that your f- family or different people will feel that, uh, yeah, you're going crazy. You, you're not paying. Th- because something else is life. You see, that is actually what we have to be redeemed from. So as long as we feel that, we know that we have not fully become spirit. So, but the solution is to keep loving this word. Amen? Keep coming to it. Because it will do something to you. Amen? You know, when Paul says that we're waiting for, we're groaning, we're waiting, it means you're loving. You know, we're crying, Have a Father. I was, I'm still looking for that scripture. Uh, waiting for the adoption. I think it's about verse 20 something. Yeah? Let's, Romans 8, yeah. 28 or something? Let's look at it. Let's look at it. I'll try to round up very soon, sir. Thank you. 26. It, it, it talks of a desire. Likewise, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with what? With groanings which cannot be altered. 27. And he that such a day has, knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saint according to the will of God. 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. 29. For whom he did for no, he also what? Did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn, that is our Lord Jesus, among many brethren. 30. Moreover, those who predestinated, he called. Those he called, he justified. Whom he justified, he also what? Glorified. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse 22, um, 21. Um, okay, let's do from, from 18, and I'll try and round up from here. Hallelujah. I hope we've been blessed. Amen. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be what revealed in us. So there are sufferings in this present time. And we're not going to shy away from that. Amen? There are sufferings. There are cares. Amen? Uh, there are sufferings in this present time. There are sufferings because uh, this world, this earth, is not what God created intention- initially. Amen? The Bible says from the beginning, it was not so. Amen? So there, there, is, a lot, there is a lot of contention taking place. Amen? There's a lot of contention. There's a contention uh, of flesh and spirit. I think Pastor Hans touched on that yesterday. There's a contention in this place. And as long as that contention is, the, the heart will not rest. Amen? Because the heart is not being used for its purpose. Amen? Hallelujah. So, so there's going to be sufferings in this world. There are going to be things that we go through. Amen? But the Bible says that they are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Now, one understanding we have to have about the kingdom is that it's available from here. Amen? Uh, we can't really go into some of the things uh, how Jesus handed that message to Nicodemus, uh, but I just want to end on this note. So, for the annex expectation of the creature waited for what? The manifestation of the sons of God. The revealing of the sons of God. Man, we were first babies, born again. So, the heads will not rest, you know. The, 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 the creature is waiting. That's why there is suffering. Amen? Even sometimes that creature will attack the people he's waiting for. Amen? You know, uh, Mommy painted it beautifully, Mommy Ellen. She said, what happened? The lion will look at man and say, I want to eat you. She said, what happened? And that really struck me. What happened? When did that change? You know, man named them. Man called the animals. Amen? 
even when man had, most of men had become, during the flood, had become flesh, amen, how did Noah get them into the ark, amen? He said, how come, how come, he will say, no, it's you that will eat for food? Because man has become flesh. Hallelujah. 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 He said, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him, who had subjected the same in a hope. So there's a positive side of this too. That yes, things have gone wrong, but there is a hope for creation. Hallelujah. There is a hope for what? For creation. Because the creature itself um, shall be shall be delivered from the what? Bondage of corruption. Also. So that means both creature and man were under bondage of corruption. Amen? And being born again is our way out of that corruption. Amen? See, there's something about flesh. Flesh, eventually, you know, Peter tells us, when, when Peter was explaining what it means to be born again, that's the continuous things, he ended by saying, all flesh is as grass. So flesh will eventually fade away, pass away. So anyone who remains in the flesh, anyone who remains in that the sum total of their life is just loving and pursue things in the natural, that's the eventual end. Amen? Amen? Amen. Flesh will eventually pass away. They are under the bondage of corruption. And what corruption does to something is it corrupts it, corrupts it until it becomes dust. Hallelujah. Amen? So creation also will be Deliver from the bondage of corruption into what? The glorious liberty of the children of God. So there's a kind of liberty that we're coming into. Amen? We're coming into. And we're coming to it by the things that we give ourselves to. By the things that we give ourselves to in the days of our flesh. Now, there's so many things in the New Testament that tells us to give ourselves to. There's so many things, you know. I can't go into that yet. Like I said, I'm just trying to give a framework, you know, uh, a pointer on how God makes these things possible. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Amen. Now, until now, now means when this was written, but we know that even till now, till our time, the creation is what is groaning. Uh, they're groaning, they're traveling in pain. He said, and not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruits of the Spirit. So there are two kinds of people that are groaning. Amen? Now, most of the world, most of the humans on the earth are not groaning. They're just living because that is life to them. But creation around them is groaning. And then those who are the first fruits of the Spirit, those who have been raised from the dead, Amen? Those of us that have given our life to Christ and have committed ourselves to this world, we are also groaning. So, that, so what that word of groaning means is that we are looking for something else. You know, just like it says in Hebrews chapter 11, that Abraham was looking for a city with foundations whose builder and maker is God. It means that everything around him was not life. That physically, as rich as he was, the Bible said that he lived in tents. He lived in tent with Isaac with him, with Jacob with him. They lived in tent because there was something when they, when, 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 when they interacted with the Lord, with Yahweh, when they interacted with that being, they knew there was something else that he promised them. Hallelujah. So also, so also, the Lord is saying that this promise of everlasting life is at hand. Amen? Is what? It's her turn. So, you see, repent. Let's change our mind. Let's change how we see it, how we see Christianity. Let's change it. Let's change it. Let, let it bring forth a groaning from within us to desire something better. Hallelujah. He said, not only they ourselves, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, not only the creation of the Lord, waiting for what? Adoption to wait. What? The redemption of the body. The what? So we can see here that Apostle Paul understood what Jesus taught. 
Apostle Peter understood it. He knows that what Jesus was teaching becomes a spirit. Yeah, it has to come to a place where it gets to the body. Now, in most of the New Testament, they talk about the soul. Because that operation of the body um, is what the Lord will do. Amen? At the command of the archangel. Amen? But, but basically, he's saying that even after our soul is saved, we are still going to continue to groan. Amen? Until we fully become spirit. Because spirit is also is a kind of body. But the Bible calls it what? A spiritual body. 1 Corinthians 15. Yeah? We can look at that. 1 Corinthians 15. It tells us, you know, there are different kinds of body. They are great. Amen? They are great. Now, the kind of body we'll be given at resurrection is determined by how much of the kingdom that we come into in the days of our flesh. Amen. Amen. I want us to pray, you know, that God will fan this desire, that we will, that we will change our mind about how we approach these waters, how we approach the kingdom. Amen. In Jesus' name. In verse 24 of that scripture, it says that we are saved by hope. Amen? We are what? We are saved by hope. You know, this message will still go around the body. Amen? Amen. Uh, the body of Christ needs to learn this. We are what? Saved by hope. The apostles understood it. The first century church understood what it means to be born again. Yeah, that actually what it means to be born again to actually be fully be born the same way a woman gives birth to a body so also will give birth to a horse a spirit amen? amen hallelujah and Jesus is saying that there are earthly dimensions of that I want us to pray I want us to pray that the Lord that we will not be found wanting in joining to this you know the Lord was surprised that Nicodemus did not understand but he wasn't even born again but the Lord was surprised. So don't you think the Lord will be surprised if we don't have everlasting life in the days of our flesh? When he says that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, don't you think he will be surprised? He will be shocked. Or he may be even disappointed. Disappointed. Because I think the Lord also wanted to communicate heavenly things. He didn't teach it for that. He just mentioned it briefly. But thank God is opening up to us now. Amen? Amen. Through his servant. Hallelujah. I want us to pray, you know. Let's pray. You know that the days of your flesh will count for something. Amen. It will count for coming into this life. Amen. It will com- count for coming into everlasting life. You know, towards the end, we got to go and say, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God gave his son. He gave his son. He gave his son. He gave his son. Lord, that you will help me. You know, let's pray that no cares will stop us. No suffering will stop us. In fact, those things will propel us further. They will propel us further. They will propel us further to come into these experiences. Let's pray, let's press in, let's press in, let's press in, let's press in, let's press in that word. Shabana, Paralo, Shibaru, La France, Vivenga, Paralo, Shibanga, Brano, Mapara, Kara, Para, Kata, Para, Mimi, Mimi, Shibaru, Lambu, Papa, 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 Zupe, Pepe, 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 Rupandu, Vamba, Vambu, Pelia. Mambro papa papa ria papa panda bosho o shava valia o beria la basha mbro pendarosh 
We prala para pan to perele gele gele para kapapan to pento velia kapona. We sham vela kapala prananda. Mana kapa aparia papa pala kapa. A mana ke ele propopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopopop
I want us to stay for our hands to our pastor. Is he, is he, he's going to come back again, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him. He's a busy man. He's going to come back again. Because there are a lot of things he wants to say. But time couldn't permit him to, to do that. Just stay for your hands. Let's pray for our pastor. That the Lord will refill him more. The Lord should increase him the more. More wisdom. More insight. More understanding, more breakthrough, even in the spirit. Oh, party, kapala, kala, palapa. More growth, si parakata, makapapa, propeliatege. Oh, juvangria, papala, paraposo, vagata, paracondo, miantu vele, pepele, paratarado, pa, paracapando, veliete. You will bless him. Father, you will bless him even the more, with more awful hands, O Lord. With more asses, O oh Lord. With more eyes, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Sa -pa 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 -pa. With more authority, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time for us to give our offering. Pastor, please. Offer, make sure you give well. You know, in those days, when you hear a message like this, you sow in three. You know, the retire just tap into this grace by your giving. Amen. And I believe it's not a bad thing for you to tap into the grace of what that has been said today. Amen. So that it can remain permanent. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to give to the Lord our offering. The Lord has really visited us. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the great day of visitation. We want to give to the Lord. One of the things our pastor said this morning, Pastor Zohar, have just repeated that. I'm amazed and I'm really blessed when Pastor K said that when you got born again, that your new bed is to make you spirit. That's an awesome word to me. And the spirit are being led. So the Bible said that as many as been led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. I want the Lord, the Spirit of God to lead your heart this morning in giving. You have to be led by the Spirit to give. It's the life of the Spirit to be led. Let's give to the Lord as you're being led in Jesus' name. No by power, no by might, by the Spirit. Let's stand up, let's stand up. Lord, we are going to God. We are going to go. Not by power, not by might, oh. by the Spirit, says the Lord. We are going to go. We are 
thank you for such visitation we thank you for your visitation upon us we thank you because we have the witness of the spirit that the Lord has visited us we want to thank you for the spirit buried witness with our own spirit that this witness that this visitation is of truth we want to thank you for opening the kingdom to us. We want to thank you for entrance into the kingdom. We want to thank you for inviting us. You made a way for us to come and partake of the things that is of yours. We give you glory. We thank you for the offering. We thank you for blessing it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sit down. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the Lord we, for such a great time. What a great privilege the Lord has given to us to be hearing these things. As we enter this new week, we are continuing preparing our heart towards an amnesis that will be coming. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are continue praying early morning prayer. Uh, we are encouraged to be part of it. You can join through the group. You can, if you didn't, if you are not belong to the group, you can see Brother Goma. He will give you the the the, the WhatsApp group number. Hallelujah! And uh, on Thursday and Saturday, we continue meetings in Itaka House. Hallelujah! Thursday and Saturday, Itaka House is also online. And on Friday, there will be no school of light because we are continuing of the program that is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are encouraged always to go back. Yesterday, when one of our pastors was saying, quoted the scripture that once I've heard, I think Pastor Azuka was saying, once I have heard twice, once I have spoken, but twice I have heard. Hallelujah. So we are encouraged to keep on hearing this word. Listen to it again, again. Hallelujah. As you listen over what Pastor have said today, we have not fully understand it. But as you listen over and over again, understanding will come. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just appreciate God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, before we... Uh, God had to come and close us. I um, just want us to welcome the bandas all the way from Africa. Uh, 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 and and the, the newest bride is not here to give us testimony. That will be next Sunday. Can't, she can't escape it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, we are going to be praying for two special people. We are going to be praying for Mommy Former and Sister uh, um, Chia Maka. Last week was their birthday. Uh, we're going to be praying. Where's Chia Maka? Chia Maka, can you come here, please? Let's appreciate God. <laughs> Pastor, the daughter is growing. Uh, very soon, like I said to you the other day, they will begin to knock at the door. Uh, um, and this time around, anybody who comes and tells you, I saw a flower, they will tell the person, he's a, a human being. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Daddy, please come. We're going to be praying for her and Mommy Farmer in Nigeria. I believe she will uh, get our prayers as well. Hallelujah. God is said to do a mighty work amongst us. And uh, one of the ways he's doing that is a, a generation of children that are from his realm. How uh, I many of us believe that? Nobody. I believe, sir. You believe? Yes, sir. Ah. Pastor Godwin knows what he's saying. 
that that one that is coming. Ah, awesome. Eh? Awesome. Amen. Sister Julia doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's stretch out our hands that the promise of God concerning these children yes. exemplified by Chiamaka will indeed come to pass Amen. in our community, in this church yes. that that which the Lord has blessed us with the fullness of that blessing will begin to become manifest Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Maria Le kute me kuste pritania kasi propeteli ad hikaro shaba he masiato le he pene kadia si kabato ha de kadia me shote bihani le kabaria rabe he shote brika baje kesia rabato peteli krata kesia ma shote ya rebo se propeteli kabako te brika ni a shape odi a de le do kibra masia rushaba de keri bahania. La be ho prene kasia ha to se preta pate le kosme preta mokataria la be ko shetalia ke prania kasaba haida guna kasia ba shote ba mm rush Oh, your I will have you know that my spirit has already started wooing these children from a young age. I've been wooing them. I've been wooing them. I use every tool in my disposal. I have been wooing them from a young age. They are devoted to me. They are devoted to me. They are mine. Um, I have my hands all over them. I have my stamp all over them. I have my identity all over them. I have been wooing you. I've been wooing her. I've been wooing her since she was young. She, she, she's devoted to me. She, she's devoted to me. She's betrothed to me. She is mine. And, and I have been doing this. All the children in your midst, I've been wooing them from a young age. I've been stealing their hearts before the evil one gets to them. I have been doing this job from early age. I would have you know, I've been wooing these ones. I've been wooing them. They are devoted to me. But what I have set to do, what I have set to do, what I have determined to do, what I have spoken of long before now, I will definitely do. Amen. Say at the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. And Father, we thank you, Lord, indeed, because this is an extraordinary year in the life of this child. Amen. That in this year, Almighty God, such understanding will be given to her that, Lord, indeed, there will be concretized in her everything, Lord, indeed, that will begin, Lord, indeed, to grow and to cause an increase in every realm, in every area, Father, Lord, indeed, that pertains unto her. Lord, indeed, eyes, eyes that will bring about, Lord, such understanding. Lord, indeed, such clarity of purpose. Lord, indeed, will come into her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You began to teach the Lord Jesus Christ, even Lord, he did at this age, the complexities, Lord, he did of the things, Father, Lord, that he now began to do and to teach. And this is that which we are asking, that this child is not too young to learn of you. This child is not, Lord, indeed, too dim, Father, Lord, he did to understand the complexities of the kingdom. And we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, such a love for your word, a love for your word, will be best, Lord, he did in her in this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
Those things I have put in you, those things I have put in you will begin to be seen. The seeds I have sown from the very beginning, the heart will begin to bear fruit now. The heart will begin to bear fruit now. Those things concerning love, love, concerning the substances of the kingdom, they will begin to bear fruit now. Understanding opening, understanding open, eyes open, ears opening, because of seeds planted, because of seeds planted, they will begin to bear fruit now. My, 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 my spirit, my spirit, my spirit, evident, evident, fruits of the spirit, evident, fruits of the spirit, evident, 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 as they begin to bear fruit now. Oh, as she enters another realm, in the realm of the spirit, even in the natural, it will be evident. Even in the natural, it will be evident that my grace has increased upon this child. That my grace has increased upon her. She, she, she is mine. She is mine. Touch not mine anointed. Do my prophets no harm. She is mine. She is mine. She is mine. She is mine. Touch not. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. God bless you richly. I don't know, am I supposed to lead prayers for my wife? Am I permitted? Uh, well, Mama Oof, I don't know if you are watching, uh, but uh, we love you. I love you. And it is, it is out of that that I'm asking us to please pray for her. Uh, to please pray for her. Liana Kasi Prania Kaso Popo Telekata Kaisia Shekelia Rama Kaiteli Kama Kase Promele Kabisha Mode Kadi Lakai Badi Kosia Maruka Pata Kila Kraina Kaso Potele Kapoto Shia Kadia Masa Tele Kiria Bata Makai Tele Kapote Kilkaria Shabatia Maso tele kebida kai sabasha tele kabrone kai da rabate keto le kemene kate la kai taka tobe la kai taka ria ramasha tele kabina kai sababa baka taba kai tele kubadia ramashe tele ata kase no le kete buka baria masa ba tele krata kai sine kebo pote shile kabia ramakai si abato tele krata kai sine kopo tele kata kai dia. Maheta, ha teka si kaba tele kapra de karia, raba sha talia kato leke to beka ta kaisia, manushe balia kato pele kreta kaisene ke popo tabaria, masaba pa talia kato leke preda kaisi karia, mashe teli kabaria ta kasi popo tele karia, raba teni kari to pote bele kari shabaria ta kate le karia, maso te brekaria. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
forget you. I will not forget you. I will not forget you. How you allowed me so. How you sold with me. In times of weakness, much toiling, much tribulation, much persecution, much enduring, much long suffering, I will not forget you. In this season that I am coming through here, in this season that I am coming through you, in this season I'm coming through your mist, in this season of remembrance, this is your season of remembrance. I will not forget how you pre allowed me to prepare you a tower of strength, a covering in much meekness, with much humility, a covering. A covering, a covering. And because of what you allowed me to do in you, you guaranteed the safety of many. You guaranteed the safety of many. They're all under this covering that you allowed me build, and they are safe. I will not forget you. I will make sure I bring my goods, my own goods, in this your season of remembrance. You will receive my goods. You will receive my goods. You will receive my goods. As you did not spare, you did not so sparingly. You did not so sparingly. I will also give you my goods in much abundance. In abundance. In much abundance. In much abundance. When you begin to flourish, when you begin to flourish, because of my goods that I will bring to you, let not people say, this happened out of nowhere. This happened all of a sudden. It was not all of a sudden. It was with much toiling in silence where no one could see, when no one gave thanks, when no one remembered you. But I remembered and I will see that you are remembered in this my season of visitation. I remember you, Ufoma. I remember you. I remember you, and no one owes me anything. <laughs> no one owes me anything. I bring my rewards. I bring my goods. I bring my goods in much abundance. In much abundance. Thank you, Fama. Thank you. From a pillar, who from a pillar, who from a pillar, who from a pillar, who from my strength, who from my strength, who from my strength, who from us got my strength, 
She's got my strength in abundance. You, you tower, trustworthy tower. You can lean on her. She, she's strong. She's strong. She's strong. She, she bears my strength. My strength. My strength is in her. My strength is in her. She, she's a pillar, 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 pillar that I raised. Pillar I raised. And even now, you still sow. You still sow. You still sow. You still sow. And many do not see. I see it all. I will reward all. Pillar. Pillar of strength. Pillar of strength. Covering. 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 Lean on. Lean on her. Lean on her. She has my strength in her. She has my strength in her. She has my strength in her. And she will also bear my goods in her. She will be fortified. Because I will come with even more reward. More. 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 My, 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 my pillar, my, my pillar, my pillar, my pillar. Amen. Amen. I don't know if many of us know that Uforma means peace. And the, the Lord will continue to be her peace Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that the Lord has spoken concerning her will come to pass Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Only a son can inherit. And this is why our enemy will want to make sure that we do not become sons. If you are not of the same gene as the father, you cannot come into the inheritance that he has you know, determined to give unto us. And we are adopted for the purpose of becoming properly transformed into the full makeup of God. And everything that Satan brings about is for the purpose of preventing us, distracting us from what God wants to do. But Father, we thank you for a new season over, Lord, indeed, this assembly. Amen. We thank you, Almighty God, Lord, indeed, because you have spoken again and again that you want to take up everybody. Nobody will be left out. And Lord, we pray for those who are meant, Lord, indeed, to be taken up together with this congregation. That Father, as you have been bringing them, bring all of them. Amen. Lord, cause everyone, Lord, indeed, to rush in into this ark that you are preparing for these times. Even the animals, even the foxes in London, even, Lord, indeed, the animals in this nation will rejoice even as this assembly begins to enter into the fullness of that life the, of the spirit that you are determined, Lord, indeed, to bring, them, bring us all into. Amen. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, from now on, greater understanding concerning the distractions that the enemy has put into the world so that we no longer be enticed. We no longer, Lord, indeed be seeking these things which are for the purpose of preventing us from coming into our inheritance. God is a spirit. And they who are his children are spirits. Let that reality come upon us, Lord. Let your word grow mightily. And let it prevail, even at this time, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are so grateful, Lord, indeed, for those whom you have raised, Lord, indeed, to speak your words over this assembly. We are asking, Lord, indeed, that greater depth, greater height, greater width in the knowledge of you and of your Son shall be the portion, the inheritance of everyone whom, Lord, indeed, you have called, Lord, indeed, into the ministry for the purpose of perfecting the saints. And, Lord, in our God, as you have begun with us this week, cause every eye to begin to see as we ought to see. Amen. Cause every heart to become still as our hearts need to be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Lord, even at this time, as many as you are calling into the fivefold, Brother Tamilo has spent time early this morning talking to us about that. The fivefold, as many as you have called to the fivefold, let them, Almighty God, take up readily that call in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That there is a lot to be done. There is a lot to be done. 
And this one's almighty God will be strengthened, Lord, indeed, to begin, Lord, indeed, to accept to do the work. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Him, Lord, indeed, that has spoken your words over us, Lord, indeed, this, this, this day. Our Lord and our God, greater and greater shall be his abilities in this area. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And you will prosper everything that he sets his hands upon to do. Amen. So that, Lord, indeed, everything concerning him and his family will be taken care of in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you opened your mouth to begin to request for help, I, I already sent help. Uh, before, before it entered your heart to pray, I already sent answers. Uh, be, be because of that which I am willing to do in your midst, I will strengthen your ministers. I will strengthen your apostles. I will strengthen your prophets. I will strengthen your evangelists. I will strengthen your teachers. I will strengthen your pastors. Because of that which I need to do in your midst, I, I, I lead you along this line. From your father, from your father, as they all align, I will strengthen them all because of inheritance that must be given to my people. You are a people marked for inheritance. I answer, I answer, I answer for the sake of my inheritance. Even your apostles, even your apostles, even your apostles will come into these things, not just in doctrine, but in the lives that they live. You will see it. You will imitate them. You will follow them as they follow me. And you will enter. You will enter into my inheritance. Into my inheritance. You are a people for inheritance. Mm -hmm. You are a people for inheritance. Mm -hmm. Stop. Do, do, do not cease. Do, do, do not cease to pray for your apostles, for your prophets, for your teachers, for your pastors, for your evangelists, for your own sake, for your inheritance sake, for your inheritance sake. And I will answer. And I will answer. I will answer. Amen. 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 God gives his beloved sleep. Amen. Pastor Uzo will be giving sleep this afternoon. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's share the grace, please. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness, mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless everyone.